Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. So, uh, I tried recording earlier, and my hair, my hair's a little fucked up. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, here we are. Um, so yeah, I think I wasted like fifteen minutes on a video that I'll never be that I'll, that I'll never publish. And there's my dog. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so um, here we are. So I think I'll just expand this a little bit, give a better broad viewing. So that'll help me also. There we go. Isn't that a better view? All right. And I'll throw the camera little bit I'll throw it right here all right so we're doing a tier list on all the assassins right now and stuff so uh, I thought it'd be fitting just to really do it and stuff give it a shot um uh, I kind of I feel a little I feel pretty happy about um you know you know all right, I feel like I've kind of picked myself back up and stuff, uh, you know, so for my YouTube channel and everything, I'm going to do my very first uh, tier list and everything. Uh, I kind of, I, yeah, I kind of wasted about 15 minutes on a video, uh, freaking, it had all the assassins except for freaking Eivor and his, and the, and the, um, other, uh, and the other sex you can pick. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so, there we are. Yeah, Eivor and the... Uh... Wait. Or the other character. You know what? Screw it. This is good enough. <laughs> I think it's good enough because, like... Alright. Let's get to it, man. So, I'm feeling pretty happy. So, I'm um, pretty sure this one's Ottawale right over here. And you know what? You belong right over here. See, uh, I was trying to say it before, though. Um, I think Ottawali belongs there. Like, I think the game, like, had some bugs and everything. Black flags in general, though. But, um, I think, um, I think there was, like, I feel like there was a little bit of work done in, um, in, uh, Freedom Cry. That was the DLC. And it seems like, a well, like, I remember there was, like, a patch and everything before, like, they released the DLC and all that stuff. And, uh, and it, and it felt like it was a little bit more approved, though, but there are still obvious bugs. I, like, the game itself, I, like, I'm not judging the game itself, though. Like, I'm judging the uh, the characters here, if I like them or not. Um, which, you know, I'm, I'm most, like, I like, I like them all. I just really can't judge the, uh, the China or the Russia. So let's throw them in there. Though, but they do belong here. I believe they belong there, though. Um, I don't, I don't know if Hatham really, like, C Connor's dad? I really don't think Connor's dad really, like, he played a role in, like, their, the Creed's history, though, but he's a Templar, though, so, but, you know, he was kind of a dick, you know, it's like, he was kind of a dick, you know, it's like, it, you know, yeah, you your son killed you there and you're kind of in the wrong there buddy so and like when it came to a, like so what so what i'm understanding is that shay um uh screwed up the assassins and everything and um and all and all the uh freaking everything that was happening in new york and all that stuff and Con and connor uh, Connor, Assassin's Creed 3, practically undoes, he really, he actually undoes everything that Shay does over in the freaking colonies and all that stuff, um, like, like, when you're Shay and stuff, it's just, a, like, like, you're kicking ass just, like, a little, like, 
Rogue feels like an improved version of uh, Black Flag and stuff, and and I think like with the more likable game, it could like it could be like you you like a character more. So you know, but that's just me. Um, but like Shay, I do like him because he has he has a point the whole time. He you know he's only trying to do what's right, um, even if it's for a cause that he doesn't. Like, you know, like, it, it seems like he's dedicated, though, but he's not, like, the kind of assassin that'll kill people, like, just because. Like, like Shay won't just, like, go out and just murder people unless if they write it into a new Assassin's Creed game, which I think they should have one with a, a new one where you're Connor and you have to fight Shay. I want to see that. And I wish it could be like Assassin's Creed Civil War. That would be kind of cool. But it's like, if you know anything about the American Revolution and the Civil War, it takes place just about 80 years after. But, um... And, you know, Connor's dad had a had a role to play in in, in Shay's, um upbringing and stuff into the Templar and everything. So... He is a legend of himself. Like, he... He only tries to do what's right, though. Even if he has to stand up. And and, th and that's something I think we can all... You know... I, I think we can all understand that kind of thing. It's just like... If you're feeling betrayed and all that, though, but you know what's right and everything, then, you know. Uh, Haytham? He's he's an okay character. Like, you get to play him and stuff, and I think that's why he's here, though. But really, man, he's kind of, he has a shit character, like, personality. That That's, like, I'm, I'm really not going trying to be negative at all, though, but Haytham has a shit personality. He's a horrible father. Oh my god, he's a horrible dad. Like, my god. Well, he didn't know he had a son, though, but I'm guessing if it's like... But, you know, it's just kind of like... He does try to introduce himself to Connor and all that and everything, and, like... You know, Connor is kind of, like, open to the idea of, like, you know, meeting this man, though, but he's not open up to the idea of joining... A brotherhood when he already has a creed that has his back from like since day one like he has you know he's going to a mentor and all that stuff and it's just like it's just like through through Haytham's eyes he still he still probably remembers when like when everything with Shay happened and all that when the assassins were wrong in that instance and stuff like in a way, he was trying to be a good dad to him, though, but he was, like, his, the end game in it is bad, like, you know, it's like you, like, like, they talked about it a lot, they talk about ruling over and all that, he, be, like, he believed in ruling over, I don't think Shay really supported the crown at all, like, he just, like, wanted to fuck up the assassins and the freaking redcoats are like, alright, we'll take it over, though, but, it's like Haytham, I feel like he wanted to take advantage of what um, Shay was doing and stuff. And I haven't finished um, Assassin's Creed Rogue though, but I'm gonna finish it, or, or I'm gonna try and finish it. Um, probably after, probably after this though. But I do got some music. I why well, I, I got a song to listen to, so that's neither here nor there though. But that's for the future. Alrighty, so uh, with Connor. He is a legend. And the thing is, if it wasn't for Shay, actually, I think if it wasn't for Shay, there wouldn't be an America for people to want to stand back up. I think that's why he also belongs in Legends. He wouldn't have made Connor, and I don't think he would have made Arno either. He wouldn't have been responsible for making two more assassins. If you think about it. If it, maybe if it wasn't for Shay, the American Revolution 
wouldn't rise up, the people wouldn't like feel so freaking pissed the fuck off and they want freedom and stuff. Maybe he's the one that inspired cuz like cuz Arnold Arno also inspired the a revolution in his in his area too. Like there there are already rights and shit like that when you play the game and stuff. Freaking but I think uh, Arnold uh, belongs right here and stuff. Uh, game itself is, uh, well, I want to say buggy and all that stuff. Uh, like, the character himself, I, I kind of wish, like, his his little girlfriend lived. I really do. I really wish his little girlfriend lived. You know, that's, you know, like, they, they kind of went with a happy ending with, like, the DLC and all that stuff, though. But um, not that I don't hate the character at all. I think his... Uh, I think his um story's fucking awesome. But you know, it's like I think uh I I I just think it's fair that um you know, it's like not not every love like, you know, not every assassin has a love story and all that. Like hell, even Hatham got laid though, but he's a Templar. You know, it's like Connor's like it's like what the fuck am I chopped liver? <laughs> well, he, well, actually, well, you know what? Connor's on that Sigma grind. You know what I mean? Connor's on that Sigma grind. You know, it's like he's just trying to make America great again. You know, it's like we like well, like we can't knock his hustle down though. But let's go to let's go to another one. Let's talk about another assassin. So ah, let's talk about Connor's grandpa. Talk about Connor's grandpa. Let's see. Hmm. Shall we talk about? Shall we talk about good old grandpappy? Yeah, let's talk about grandpap. Well, someone has to go in good though, but I want to talk about grandpappies. Okay, uh, this is Altair. He's good. He's good. He's good. Um, I love the story. I just think he's just right in the middle. If there's not an end to a means and everything, you know, it's like he, like, I feel like Altair itself is like, he's a legend. He's a legend and you gotta love him. He's great though, but I think it was like the first game and all that stuff. It was like, it was good for its time and like it's, it's still kind of good right now, like, if you still have the time to, um, it's like, I feel like it's a, like, some things are a little slower on it and stuff, though, but, like, again, I'm not, uh, judging the game, though, maybe a little bit, though, but I'm not judging the character here, though, but I just, like, I, I feel like everyone needs to be in one of the columns, at least, like, like, someone has to occupy it, though, but with Altair and stuff, um, he's a legend, he just... It's like I, I remember seeing the uh, the end, how he dies and everything. He just he practically just traps himself in that one place and stuff, and he just he just lays in that chair and stuff, which is I think it's cool. I think that like he I don't know it's like I like I don't know how to put it. It's just like Altair is like the was the conscience of like of of his era and everything like he's the one that had the morals and stuff and that's what makes him good that's what makes him good though and as i remember he like only one game only one game and stuff and then you play as Ezio and stuff though and we'll get to Ezio and stuff and we'll be able to talk about revelations and uh, brotherhood which i have not completed though but i know the story so that is good enough for me. It is, if it is good enough for you, so uh, so I have not finished Odyssey though, and I'm pretty sure this is Legolas. So you go right there, and I have not played the girl part. So, uh, so Legolas, uh, I think Odyssey is uh, cool so far and stuff like that. Uh, I can't really judge it though, but I just want to say that it, the game itself and the character seems like it has a a great story arc. So I have to finish that, but I want to get on to another one. All right. Oh, okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh, ho, ho, buddy. Who want to talk about the Syndicate? I loved Syndicate. 
Uh, Syndicate itself, um, it felt like a newly in, uh, improved version of Unity, though, but I I believe, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's just fine and stuff. I'm, um, like, all these assassins are legends in, of themselves, except for Haytham. He's just an asshole dad. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure some people probably like that character. Uh, yeah, I, I think Odyssey belongs here too. Uh, Syndicate. Uh, I beat the game and stuff. Uh, I remember I ha like, I kind of like. Do you ever lag on games and stuff? I, I kind of lag on Assassin's Creed games a bit, though. But I strive to just try to beat it and stuff. You know, just you know, get it over with. Um, Syndicate was like kind of one of those games. That, you know, like I feel like it didn't take a. I feel like it didn't take that long, though, but it was fun. And you get to play as two characters, and I'm pretty sure it's the sisters right here, too. So you got to love them, brother and sister. Um, yeah. So, like, in Syndicate, uh, it's a little bit different. Like, you remember how uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas was, where you take over gangs and stuff like that? Or maybe, like, uh, uh, Saints Row? Like, let's go, like, Saints Row 2 or whatever. You know, it's kind of like... It kind of had, like, the map territorial, you know, way to go at it and stuff, which I, I thought that was kind of cool. So, and I like how um, Ubisoft uh, worked that up with, um, you know, it's like, and kind of gave it a design like that. So, yeah, I feel like Syndicate itself, like, like about the, like, when it comes to the bio and everything like that, I think it's not bad, though, but I think, like, the way that they try to revolutionize England and stuff like that, try to bring the people together. Uh, they stopped uh, the, like in, in the game itself, what I liked um, and stuff. And then they kind of, right. It's just dirty. Hold on. Sorry about your ears. Um, but no, no, no. It's like, they, they kind of put it into the story a little bit. Like, you know, they, they, they mentioned it. It's like, they want to, they want to stop child labor law. So, well, it's kind of cool. It's just like, you know, like just revolutionizing, you know, it's like helping kids, putting them in schools, <laughs> but you know, that, that's more part of the game, I guess though, but it's still cool. And, and I think they, you know, you, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Bye. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Edward Kenway, he is not bad. He's not bad at all. Like, all right. So, we all know Edward is not the best father, but he is a legendary pirate. Like, like he like he locked away the conservatory and everything where he found it and stuff like it like through that tribe and all that. Um, it was like he like he did a very good thing of just keeping it secret that you know just making sure no one sees it. Um, like in the end, like he did something noble and right, like and and that and, and that was the end game. Like, like Edward went through the whole like the whole spiel of what it's like to be a pirate and all that stuff, and he found out it's not all. You know, it's it's not all freaking sales, women, and booze, and plundering, and freaking, you know, just having, you know, like, just doing all that, you know, like, you know, with black sales, I, you know, that's how I feel, it's like, he, I feel like through the game of Black Flag and stuff, you mature into a man as Edward and stuff, and, you, like, you end up having a kid, which is, bam, him. And his daughter. Yeah, I remember he has a daughter and a son. And he ends up, and his son becomes a Templar. Maybe because that he didn't like that his dad, like maybe he didn't like his story. That's what I'm guessing. He did not like what he learned about his father. Like he probably like I I feel like he saw his father as kind of like evil. He wanted to be better than him like you don't want us just like yeah yeah you're like you know it's kind of like you don't want to be like your dad kind of thing 
and stuff though but little grandkid doesn't want to be like dad either so it must run in the family <laughs> i feel like it runs in the family it's like you know it's like no one no one wants to keep the family business going though but like there's always like there's always like the next kid wants to go the other way or something though but yeah edward i like how he matures I like how he oh god damn it. I like how he matures throughout the whole game and stuff. And like you know, it's like he's like he didn't even know what the assassins were and stuff though, but he took their stuff and he learned it and he wasn't a real assassin at first though, but uh, once he started learning about what the creed was, he was an official assassin, which is which is, I think, was great and stuff like that. And he was, he was, he was practically welcome into the creed, though. But you know, he was more of a pirate. You know, let's all lie. He's more of a pirate in hell. Sailing, sailing the seas was fun as shit. So there you go. All right, Bayek, Bayek, Bayek. So you gotta love him. All right, Bayek. You gotta love him. The man who started it all. See, what was started, um, apparently it must, like, I think, I think it was that the order came first. I think the order came first, and then, like, well, the Mejai came first before, like, the Hidden Ones and stuff like that. So it was like Mejai and Temp and, and the Order well, like wasn't really called Templar though, but they were like they were coming into their own too. Though the Order uh, was trying to get Bayek to um, tell him how to open up this vault with the Apple of Eden and stuff, and he didn't know how, and he was about to stab him, and someone gets out of the way, he accidentally stabs his kid. And stuff and that's how the creed is started you gotta love him for that like he is the kind of guy that will go to the ends of like you know like like they are responsible for the death of his child and stuff though like he was only trying to fight back and all that though but that's oh what a crazy like i i like the crazy story on him and stuff and and i think he deserves to be a legend because if it wasn't for him he wouldn't have paved the way for all these men except for him. <laughs> Not you. But if it wasn't for Bayek, he wouldn't have paved the way for all these men and women except for him. Well, he paved the way for your children and your grand, your, like your father, your grand, your kids. You bastard. Um, but no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> Why I don't know why Hatham's in here really though, but I think he's just here because like you like this is just this is just a character judgment. So um Bayek to me and stuff, so yeah. Um Yeah, Bayek, like what can I say, man? Like he like he's he did the first assassins and stuff like that. He's like he's whew. It's like I remember. I, I like in the end of the game when stuff. Um, his like he sees the a symbol that that laid out in the sand and stuff, and that's what gave him the inspiration. I like that's like, you know, they thought of it. It's like how does he get the inspiration? You know, it's like the symbol because you know that's just like any other person that's inspired by something to make to make any logo or something like that, or you know, or just like. And stuff like he just saw the thing. Uh, I forgot it was just fall in the sand. He's like, huh. But um, I I do like how his character um develops and a little bit like in the DLCs and everything. It wasn't it wasn't really too bad though. But it was more of fun and stuff. Um, his story Bayek's story is legend. I think it is legend. So, um. Eivor. Um, 
Okay. 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 All right. All right. I remember his story. Uh, I want to get to Eivor last, though, but we are going to get to Ezio. Alright, so I think Ezio is a good, good man. He screwed a lot of women, though. <laughs> he's a player. Um, that's why I kind of like him. He, like, he's he's better than, like, like in, you know, in, in the kind of sense and everything. He's, like, everything that, like, that Altai ear wasn't, you know, he was just more like, you know, Ezio was just more of a player and stuff. And I like that, um, like, like you get to use a little bit more guns and everything as him and stuff. Uh, you get to play him in three games, I believe. Yeah. Two Assassin's Creed, two Brotherhood and Revelations. There's some like actually, uh, um, DS Assassin's Creed, uh, Nintendo DS Assassin's Creed games which i didn't even know i didn't even know so yeah mute that that's good i was like wait what's that okay i can press that to unmute it um wasn't even playing that's good Surprised I didn't pick it up. Either way, um, yeah, uh, yeah, Ezio, I I love his story. He's a good man. Like I I believe he is always on the side of good and everything. Um, I, honestly, I'm just trying to fill this out. Um, but no, 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 no. Um, I think Ezio, like, he he made a revolution and stuff like that. Um, freaking like he was like. He had a lot of like he had a lot of playtime as him and stuff. You get to really know him, and then and you really get to love him. If you've ever seen the um, actually I just found it on a uh, YouTube and stuff. Uh, it's a little cartoon at the end of uh, Ezio's life of how he passes away. He dies peacefully. He he dies peacefully, um, like in kind of like in a public area or whatever at a market or whatever and stuff. Like he just kind of had a heart attack or something like that or. Or I forgot how it happened, though. It's like some guy was talking to him and stuff, though. But it, it looked a little peaceful. It, it looked peaceful for him and stuff. Um, I think that, you know, I, I, I believe he just deserves, like, he's like he's on the side of good. That's what I like about him. He's on the side of good. Uh, you know, it's like, like, you get really attached to him, really. So, um, like, I haven't... Like, I haven't finished the Ezio story arc, though, but I finished most of the games, really, and stuff, and I still need to... I really need to catch up, though, so that's why I want to, like, stream it more and all. Like, that's why I want to stream them and stuff, though. I feel like I might want to take a break or something, and, like, though, you know, kind of like I've taken a break from other games, though, but, you know, I, I feel like that's okay. Uh, though, all right, Eivor! You gotta love his story. You gotta love his story. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have not finished it though, but I have like, what did I do? Like three, four hours into the game so far and stuff. Um, you get to see this. You get to see the story in, in the beginning of of his endeavors and stuff like that. So, Avor's dad was king as as i believe or i think that's how i remember it his dad was king uh mom my dad was queen i, I guess um uh his dad gave up his like he like so they were getting pillaged and stuff and they were on the ropes um like he threatened to kill his wife and stuff and he Eivor's dad was like, please, don't kill anymore. Please, kill me and let the rest live. And the guy said, okay. Uh, he put his axe down. Mom was, his mo like, mom was like, pick up your axe and fight. Which, you know, it's like kind of like... Uh, it, it was like, like everyone saw it kind of like... His, the en enemies see it as like cowardice or whatever, though. Especially the guy that killed him. 
though. But I like that you know, that you get to kill the guy later, though. But um, yeah, he chops his head off. Um, and mom tries to fight, kill her. Um, you run away, freaking. You get bit by a wolf right on the neck and everything, and uh, you end up killing him. Or Eivor ends up killing him and stuff, or killing the wolf, and gets the nickname of uh, a wolf kissed. And I, I kind of like that. Like, like there's a whole sh- like, and he gets and he and you end up getting your father's axe. I fucking love that. <laughs> but you end up getting your father's axe. This is my father's axe. <laughs> like shit, I love it. You know, it's just because like you know people can have like. I love I love his bio because people can um, people can have uh, fun and everything. People, you know, how people already make jokes and all that stuff. And you know, with the good story like that, it's very enjoyable to watch and it's very enjoyable to play. And I've already, I've only gone into it only a little bit though, but I love the game and it looks like the the female counterpart of Valhalla isn't in here though, but I guess that's all right. Uh, but still, uh, I I put her right in the loved them too. Like I, I think um, you know, it's, I, I can't just put everyone a legend. So I, like, I think Avor's story is great, and I think it's very assassin like and stuff, especially when you like. Because, like, you meet Basim later and stuff, who is the next protagonist in Assassin's Creed Mirage, which I can't fucking wait to play because it's straight up, you're, like, you're just going white-hooded and all that, and to me, that's like, fuck yeah. <laughs> it's like, kind of, I feel like it's kind of going back to the basics of Altair and Ezio. So, you know, it's, it's all, I feel like it's just all coming together and I love the story arc and I love it that like they kind of take a twist on history like like this is not accurate history just remember like this is not real history this is just a video game though but I love how they play on it and stuff and so yeah I guess that I guess that's it so I hope you like my tier list and everything so y'all have a good one Hey, thanks for watching. Come hit that like and subscribe. Come take a look at the new merch shop and everything. Got some mugs. Get, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want. You know, just hell, come join the Discord. Got a Facebook group. Come join me on Twitter. Everything that uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below. So uh, thanks for coming, man.